Parker Industries is analyzing a $200,000 equipment investment to produce a new product for the next five years. The study of expected annual after-tax cash flows from the project produced the following data. So we have the annual after-tax cash flow, or 45,000, 50, 55, 60, 65, and 70,000, and the probability of each of those different cash flows happening. If Parker utilizes a 14% hurdle rate, the probability of achieving a positive net present value is how much? Now, what we have to do here is we kind of have to go through a couple of steps. We're given these different probabilities for different cash flows that they're projecting. We've got these cash flows and these probabilities. So what we need to figure out is what is the minimum cash flow that they need per year in order for this project to be, to be break even for them, in order for it to be what they need it to be. And what we're looking at here is a positive net present value. So what we need to do is take this $200,000, it's the investment amount, and we have to determine what is the annual cash flow that will result in a positive net present value. And what we're going to do is we're going to use an annuity for this. What is the cash flow each year, a constant cash flow over a constant time interval, this time interval being a year, what is the amount of cash that we need per year in order for the project to have a positive net present value. Now, we're interested in an annuity that is going to be for five years at 14%. So we go to the present value of an annuity table, we look in the five year, the 14%, column and row, and what we get is 3.433 is the annuity value, the, the table value. So we're gonna take that 200,000 and we're going to divide it by 3.433 to get this annual cash flow that is needed in order for the company to have a positive net present value. We do the math for that and we get 58,258 is the annual cash flow that is needed. So then we go look over at our column of the annual cash flows. 45,000 isn't going to do it, that's not enough. 50,000 is not going to do it, 55,000 is not going to do it. But if they have 60, 65, or 70,000 is the annual after-tax cash flow, they will have a positive net present value, which is the goal that they are going for. So what is the probability that there's a 60,000 cash flow? 20%. What's the probability that there's a $65,000 cash flow? 10% uh, and a 10% chance for a $70,000 cash flow. So we add these together and there is a 40% chance, 40% probability of this project having a positive net present value. Really just a two-step question here. What is the required cash flow? And then what are those annual cash flows in their little table here? that are going to give us the necessary cash flow to have a positive net present value.